an investigation underway after an elderly couple was shot and killed at a condo complex in Stewart. Investigators revealing the suspect, who is now in custody, lived in the unit above them. Good evening, I'm Tiffany Kenny, And I'm Jay Jarvis, thanks for joining us. Our Terry Parker joins us live as she has just obtained 911 calls made the night of the shooting. Terry. Right, it happened right here in front of the mailboxes. Police tell us that a 75-year-old Hugh Wahoopman did have a concealed weapons carry permit. However, he's told them that he was angry that his neighbor down the hall here uh, refused to apologize him for swearing and yelling at his wife. So he said that he reached into his pocket, he pulled out his gun, and he shot not only the neighbor, but also the neighbor's wife right here on this walkway. It all started over an open laundry room door. What is going on? My husband just shot two people and I believe he killed them. According to the arrest affidavit, Hugh Hootman told detectives several days ago his downstairs neighbor, Henry Wallace, yelled at Hootman's wife for leaving the shared laundry room door open. And when he saw 81-year-old Henry at the mailbox Saturday, Hoopman told Henry he needed to apologize. A few minutes later, Henry and his wife Ginger were lying dead on the walkway, shot to death in anger. Hoopman telling detectives, I lost my temper. I heard her yell, oh no, no. And then she screamed and then she was silent. Oh my gosh. That'll stay with me all my days. Kathy Barker says she was outside and she heard Ginger Wallace scream as she opened the door and realized her husband had been shot. According to the affidavit, Hootman said when Henry Wallace tried to walk past him, Hootman pulled out the gun he carried in his pocket and shot him several times. When Ginger came out and began yelling, police say Hootman told them he shot her too. Next door neighbor Raymond Bowes heard the shots, opened the door to see a shocked mailman calling 911. She was curled up like a baby. And he was standing there and he was on the phone and asked me, said, you calling the cops? He goes, yeah. Deputies say Hoopman went upstairs to tell his wife, call the police. I just shot Henry and Ginger. The SWAT team arrived and took Hoopman into custody. Detectives say he said, so sorry. I wish I could take it back. And on the 911 calls, you can hear Susan Hoopman telling police that her husband immediately knew that this was a big deal, very wrong. And he un, um, took the gun apart, took the magazine out, put it outside, and he was sitting, she said, still in shock in his recliner while she called 911. Tonight, he's in the Martin County Jail with no bond, facing two counts of first-degree murder. In Stewart, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.